everyone welcome to pep coding the question which we are going to solve today is known as prefix evaluation and conversion first let us understand the question and then we'll head over to the solution so today we have been given a prefix expression we need to convert this into postfix as well as infix also we need to evaluate the prefix expression and the answer which we'll obtain needs to be given as an output. First, let us do a quick recap of what infix, postfix and prefix are. So the expression where the operator lies between the operands is known as infix. The expression where the operator lies before the operands is known as prefix. And the one where we have the operands before the operator is known as postfix. We are going to convert prefix expression to infix and postfix. So first let us understand how we will do this and the approach to it using a question or an example. So let us take an example where we have a prefix string and it is something like minus plus Two, six, four, eight, and three. So this is our prefix expression. As you can see, we have the operators before the operands. So we are going to traverse the length of the string. The three things which we need to find today is infix expression, postfix expression, and the value. So obviously, we will create three stacks for the same. We will create a value stack, infix stack and a postfix stack. Now what we are going to do is, we are going to traverse the length of the string but from the back. Okay, We are going to traverse from the end. Why? Because as you can see we have the operators lying in the front. right? So if I will go to the stack, check for anything, the operators will do nothing for me as the stack will be empty. So we need to start with the operands first. So we are going to move along the length of the string but from the back. So the first character which we encounter is an operand 3. So we are going to push 3 onto all the stacks. Then we have it again an operand. So we are going to push it onto the stacks. 4. We'll now go to the stacks and so will so we are done with these operators. Now we have an operator. So we need to work with the operator. We have multiply. On the stack, we have 6 and 4. I want to do 6 multiplied by 4. Right? So when we will pop these values, 6 will come off as value 1 and 4 will come out as value 2. Okay? So what we are going to do with this is, we are going to multiply these two values because the operator was for multiplication. Answer will be 24 and we will push it onto the stack. So we have 24. When dealing with infix, we want value 1 first, that is 6, then the operator and then value 2, that is 4. And this needs to be enclosed within brackets. So again, we have 6 times 4 and this will be within brackets. We will pop these two, value 1, value 2. When we are dealing with postfix, we want value 1, then value 2 and then the operator. So we will have 6, then 4 and then the operator which was start. Okay, now we have divide. Again, we have an operand, operator, so we are going to pop from the start. We will do 24 divided by 8. This will be value 1, this will be 2. So, 24 divided by 8 will give us 3, which we will put onto the stack. Then we have 2, 1. We, we will do value 1 operator value 2 
and this will be closed within brackets. So we are going to take this onto the stack. Next we have these two values. So value 1, value 2. We'll have value 1 first, value 2 next and then the operator which was divide. So this will go onto the stack as well. Okay. Now we have 2. 2 is an operand. So we'll directly push it onto the stack. Then we come across plus. Plus is an operator. So 2 plus 3 will give us 5, which we'll push onto the stack. For infix stack, we want this as value 1, this as value 2, right? So we are going to pop. We'll have value 1, then the operator. Then value 2 and we are going to enclose this within brackets. So we will have this. And for postfix, again value 1, value 2. So we will have 2, 6, 4, star, 8, divide and then the operator which was plus. So we are going to push this onto the stack as well. Now we have minus. Minus is again an operator. We are going to work on the stacks. 5 minus 3 will give us 2. We will push it onto the stack. This will be value 1 and this will be value 2. So we will have value 1. Then the operator, then value 2, and then we'll have the closing brackets. So now we are going to replace this over here. And we'll have this on the stack. Next, after this, we now have value 1. Also, value 2 and value 1. So, here we had 2. Now, what we are going to do is value 1 as it is. Okay. Then we have value 2 and then we have the operator. So, we are going to replace this onto the stack. Here. So now we are done with the length of the string, right? We do not have any other value over here, any operator, any operand. So we are done with the answers and we have got the final answers which will be printed. So now we are going to code this. We are going to take three stacks. The first stack will be for values and since it is for values, and we need to operate upon them. We are going to take it of integer type. The next tax that is for infix and postfix need to be of string type because we are going to return a string. So postfix and then we have one for infix. Now we need to traverse the length of the string but from the back. So we are going for int i equals int minus 1. It will go till 0. We keep on decreasing. Okay. We need to check for each position. So we want a character value. We will have character ch. And it will return the character value at the position. Now we need to check whether the value is an operator or an operand. Right? So we check for operators and operands. If it is an operand, it will lie between 0 and 9. In that case, we need to push the values onto the stacks directly. 
So we'll push to the value stack. We'll push to the intrig stack. And we'll push to the postfix stack. Okay. Now the value stack is of integer type. We have a character. So we need to subtract zero character from it. Why? Because it will return to us the same value but of integer type. Working with infix and postfix, we need string type and we have a character value. So we are going to pass an empty string along with it so that we can return a string type. Similarly, we will do this for post. So now we are done with the operands. This needs to be if. If it is not an operand, it will be an operator. And if it is an operator, we need to do multiple tasks for each stack. Right. So let us create a function for that. Where we will pass our stacks. And we will pass the character that is the operator. Since it is not an operand, it will be an operator. So we will pass the operator. Okay. Now let us work with the function. So we will create a function which will solve all the values for us. So we have stack of integer values. We have the string one which takes infix and another for postfix and we have the operator. So now, when we are working with the stacks, when we encounter operators, what we need to do is pop from the stack. So we will have a string type when we will pop from infix and postfix. So first will be value 1 and we will pop. Then we will have another value. Again we will use pop function. When you are working with the postfix stack, what we need to do is that to it we were pushing first the value 1, then value 2 and then the operator. This is how postfix works. Now we need to work with infix. So when we are working with infix, we will again pop from it. I am not declaring v1 and v2 again because it will unnecessarily take up memory which we don't want. So we are simply going to reinitialize it. Okay. So when you are working with infix, we need to push the values to it in a certain format, which was opening bracket v1 operator v2 and then the closing bracket. And this is how infix expressions will work. Now we are working with the value, right? So the value stack will give me two integers value. So we'll have int a and we'll pop it from value and int b. Now when you're working with the value stack, we need to check what the operator is because we need to perform the mathematical functions according to the operator. So we'll keep on checking whether it is a plus sign a minus sign multiply or divide right so if it is plus we will simply push a plus b to the stack if it is multiply if it is subtract we will push a minus b if it is multiply we will push a multiplied by b otherwise we will push a divided by b okay and now we need to print the answer so we need to first print the value which we have evaluated so the value 
we will get okay then we need to print the infix expression so we will pop from infix and print and lastly we are going to print the first fix expression right so we worked with the stacks that is post fix infix and value stack and now we are printing them so let us try to run this program okay so it is giving me error we have interpreted now we'll run this okay so the answer was accepted now we'll submit this and it is the correct answer so we worked with prefix evaluation and conversions i hope you understood the question as well as the solution thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to the channel